Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine, and my name is Dave, and it's time to party. Sushi Go Party. Let's do it. Now, as a disclaimer, this is a review copy from Game Right Games. Thank you so much for your support. You've been there from the beginning, and gosh, I really do appreciate it. Now, this comes in a tin. You know, I'm I'm neither here nor there with the tin. I could take or leave it, but if it does, it does get dented. It's kind of hard to put things into it. Now, this is a game of drafting. I have a review on the original one. This is an, an expanded version. Basically, it takes the old game and add more cards so you can mix and match these to have variations and replayability that's pretty much out this world so without further ado i'll go ahead and show you what comes in this tin go over the basics even though i've reviewed it before and you can go back to the um there's a I'm pretty sure there's a um, link there saying the old sushi go review but let's go ahead and see what comes in this tin let's go Okay, so this is what you get in the tin of Sushi Go Party, and it does have a pretty cool uh, divider. Uh, the tin, a little more to be desired. Uh, the cards are a nice linen finish. You can kind of see that as it glistens there. We have different entries coming into the party here. Uh, this board's going to be keeping track of what you're playing, and these little things up here are able to fit snugly into place. They are cardboard, nice thickness. The art is cute, fantastic. And these are the pawns that we'll be keeping track around the board here. The best colors right here. We're not gonna leave you out purple. The best colors, they chose a great, that's my favorite color, green, I love it. Okay, um, everything is, is very nice. The production, it scales up from the basic version. Uh, now, let me show you some of the new entries here. Let's go. All right, so Sushi Go Party is just like Sushi Go. Um, it's a drafting game where you have a hand of cards, you'll play one and pass the rest of the cards to your hand until all the cards are out. You normally do that over three rounds in a larger player game, maybe more, and you calculate your score at the end of the game to see who has won. Now here you'll have to set up your deck. You'll take two specials, a dessert, some appetizers are all, and always include the Niguri, and you take all those decks and shuffle them up. Now all the old cards are making a comeback, but there are some newcomers as well. Let's go over some of them. Some equipment or more of the special. This is a spoon, kind of works like the chopsticks, but you get to target somebody and say, hey, give me that card in your hand and you take it. This is a roll, just like the Maki rolls, but instead of gaining um, points, you will get four points if you have the most and negative four points if you have the least. Now these cards here, um, I don't, how you say it, on Gary, I, Sure, I'm first butchered that. They are unique. There are two of each one of these unique ones, and they score on their uniqueness as you accumulate them. And the Maki Roll comes back into play with their Maki Rollness, and so does the Tempura by scoring um, five points by doing two of them. Now, the Umami is a weird one. Uh, if everyone around you, around you has um, Umami, it'll score more points. Otherwise, it just scores a point. Uh, now, Eel is funny. Once you play one it's negative three points but you play two bam seven points and the or maki, maki is interesting the first person who can get up to that amount of or maki and eight five and um, two points are given out now this special order of course as you probably tell is just a wild card now nigiri comes back here and the wasabi gets placed on it to triple the points or it goes away dries up now the miso soup if you play it and you on your turn you get three points unless somebody else plays another copy of it then it's worth zero um, the sashimi comes back three uh, for ten points now the soy sauce was a promo but now it's in here uh, it's you get um, four points if you have the most colors now tofu is interesting if you get one you get two points two you get six points but if you get wound up with three and zero now T it, it scores for your highest amount of scoring cards which is nice um, now the green tea is a dessert here the green tea ice cream now if you get times four you get 12 points now the fruit's interesting here it's uh, per type um, one negative zero and it goes up now the type is up here so you get watermelon and pineapple and you can see as they go up and how you score them the orange slices over there now the pudding is just like um, any of the desserts they won't be discarded after every round 
and whoever has the most of them will get six points and the least will get negative six points. The menu is interesting. Uh, you get to draw four from the deck and then pick one. Um, and there's dump plans that get exponentially good as they go up. Chopsticks make a comeback. It allows you to play two cards at a certain point. And the takeout box is interesting. It's for cards that aren't scoring much points. It allows you to flip them over and get two points for them. So you're not just missing out on something that uh, might hurt you. So you again would play round after round accumulate your score up here you can switch up the board if you want i love the indented um embroidered board how these don't move out so nice so those are the basic rules now let's give this game a grade and tell you what i think let's go so that is sushi party and what grade does it get this gets an 88 for me and the game find play it award absolutely i love sushi go from the get-go uh, and um this one here just made it even juicier just that set my teeth into and like I said the replayability is so vast and that's perfect because this game can be busted out over and over again there's a rule correct correction I play so many games I get things wrong but there's only three rounds always no matter how many uh, players there there is but this game scales perfectly it's great for two players it's great for six players it's so fast I love seeing which decks mix and match a best and see what strategies you can pull off with different decks. Some uh, of the cards that you're using will get, make a game be a low scoring game, which is interesting for me because I've always had a high score for Sushi Go. But if you pick and choose carefully, you can have this strategic kind of um, low scoring game that is a nail biter throughout the whole thing. And I love it for that. Or you can just put this just overwhelming amount of cards that score high even higher than what you normally would and I like big numbers so you can definitely do that just the mix and match ability of this there it it's kind of like a smash up version of a party going that would be really cool that that would be really cool actually if they made smash up sushis and or kind of did a smash up version with sushi go but look at me trying to think of other ideas pretty much what I'm saying about this game is I absolutely recommend it and again thank you so much Game Right for providing me with this review copy if you want to pick up your copy there's going to be a link down below where you can do so and if you haven't already click like and subscribe I really would appreciate that appreciate that until the next time that I see you my name is Dave have a great rest of your day and a great time with all your play until next time I'm out bye My Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.